altitude. It is 580 meters long, 480 meters wide, and 300 meters deep. In 1906, it was three times larger. It owes its current contour to the last eruption of 1944. Today, Vesuvius is extinct. Or is it merely dormant? Who can say? In any case, it's the most closely monitored volcano in the world. Here's another example of volcanic activity in the area around the Bay of Naples. Monte Nuovo, a crater 400 meters wide and 120 meters deep, which suddenly appeared in the 16th century on the ruins of a Roman village near Cicero's ancient villa. Five kilometers from Monte Nuovo, there's another famous volcanic landmark, Solfatara, with its white rocks of cinder and pumice. This unique crater is known for its fields of smoking vents and pools of boiling mud. It belongs to a group of volcanoes known as the Phlegraean Fields. The island of Ischia, the largest of the Campani Islands, lies 40 kilometers off the coast of Naples. Ischia is a volcanic offspring of the Phlegraean Fields. It's pockmarked with old craters, but the odor of sulfur gave way centuries ago to the fragrant perfume of pines and exotic flowers. Traveling south from Ischia, less than 80 kilometers from the shores of Sicily, we find a volcanic archipelago known as the Aeolian, or Lipari Islands. As legend has it, these islands were once part of an entire continent, Tyrrhenia, which is said to have crumbled into the sea during a violent earthquake. Today, the archipelago is composed of seven major islands, all of them infinitely charming. About half of them are perfectly dormant, but the others show clear signs of volcanic activity. Lipari is the largest island in the chain. Despite its volcanic origin, we can see from the island's pleasant and peaceful appearance that it has not experienced an eruption for a long time. Indeed, the craters seem to be definitively extinct here as of the 6th century. This estimate is based not only on archaeological excavations, but also carbon-14 dating. In addition, it supports a local legend. A hermit living on Lipari is said to have chased the fiery devils from these obsidian and pumice craters in the year 550 A.D., Near Forgia Vecchia and Monte Pilato, we can see some handsome obsidian formations. Obsidian, also known as volcanic glass, resembles dark bottle glass. It is lava which has cooled very quickly, preventing the formation of crystals. It's essentially composed of silica. Prehistoric peoples took advantage of obsidian's glass-like quality to make sharp-edged tools. In the Neolithic era, obsidian objects from Lipari were common throughout the Mediterranean basin. Obsidian is as dark and compact as pumice stone is pale and light. So light, in fact, that it floats on water and we find pumice on the shores of all the Aeolian islands, even on the beaches of Sicily and southern Italy. A highly respected volcanologist, the late Maurice Kraft, gave a good description of pumice when he called it a kind of lava foam. Pumice has been mined here since early antiquity. The Romans used it to build the Colosseum and the villas of Pompeii. Today, pumice is used in toothpaste. Several thousand miners on Lipari 
Work at excavating this 200 meter deep layer of pumice that stretches over eight square kilometers. <laughs> 